Hello everybody, this is Quick Squirry, and we are back in my uh, single player survival let's play uh, world. Uh, with all of our farms and stuff, we've built all of our animals back down in here. That are kind of loud, that's why I've turned the sound down. Um, but uh, we have enough stuff to get enchanted, uh, get enchantments. So I am going to take this leather and uh, some of our sugar cane from our farm right over here um, and get enchantments. So there are two things that I really want to get accomplished in this episode, and that is to get some enchantments going and uh, also to find a nether fortress. So I'm... Uh, that means I'm probably going to do a lot of exploring in the nether, and um, uh, hopefully uh, soon I'll have a blaze XP farm uh, going, where I'll be able to farm blaze rods and XP at, and that'll be super, super nice once I get that all in place. So the other things we need for an enchantment table include obsidian, and we need some diamonds. One, two, awesome. Okay, first off we need paper, awesome. Let's just make those all into books right now. And, dun, 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 dun. aha, enchantment table, okay. Um, right now I'm just gonna set this right in the middle of everything. Um, yeah, um, a couple of things I want to enchant, let's get some lapis, and our diamond pick here, and let's get some bookshelves going too. more than enough wood. Yeah. And that's only two bookshelves. That's fine now. Um that'll just give us a little bit higher level enchantment because I have enough levels right now for some pretty good stuff. But um let's see. Efficiency one. Wow that's pretty bad. What do we get on the axe? Efficiency 1. Um, how about this one? Efficiency 1. Um, can't enchant those. Actually, I haven't uh, ever even made a sword for this series because the iron axe is, um, works super well uh, for all of the combat stuff that I've uh, that you ever have to do. So all I use is I just use my axe for my combat as well. And so that's achievement time for me. See what we get on this. Sharpness one, that's actually not too bad. What do we got on the other ones? Knockback, unbreaking. Let's just do this. Sharpness one, that's it. Okay, that's fine though. Now we've unlocked new things. Unbreaking one. Let's just Go with it, see, that's it. Unbreaking one. Um, power two, I'm not using bows right now. As much as I love bows. Efficiency two. Uh, how about the axe? Efficiency two? You know what, I think I'll just uh, go with that. Wait, I'm gonna see if there's protection uh, protection 2, actually. Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. Awesome. That's super nice, actually. So, um, I'm actually, the, all the other thing I was going to do is just go to the nether and try and find another fortress. So, that's going to be a lengthy thing, so I will get back to you if I find something interesting.
So, we are here in the nether, and the blazes are making a massive racket. They're just all over the place and angry and stuff. There's actually a blaze spawner, like, right behind this wall if I were to dig through here. Maybe. It's down a little bit, so... That right there, I think, is... No, that's a path. It's somewhere around here. Maybe it's over here a bit. Anyway, there is a blaze spawner around... Yeah, there we go. Those are... Um... Anyway, I'm going to make a blaze farm out of that one, specifically, even though there is another one that's a little more contained, which would probably be a little nicer to work with. I want to make it around that one, because it's kind of in the center, and that'll be... Oh, yeah, that's right, I'm just out of food. Just now. Um... And that'll be kind of cool to, like, look at and see all the the massive blaze uh, farm in the middle of the thing. So, I think we can see it from right here. Yeah, right up there. Uh, so, I'm, I ran out of food just now, so um, I'm going to uh, go back and get some of that and some building materials, but before we do that, I looted all of the chests and explored this entire thing. And, uh, this is all of the loot I got. An absolute ton of horse armor. Not sure why I <laughs> need so much horse armor. This is the third piece of diamond horse armor I've ever gotten, which is pretty getting pretty insane. I did get a wither skull, which is pretty cool. Some blaze rods, uh, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, anyway, so that's all going really well. And I have a blaze uh, spawner picked out, and, um... So, I am going to head back to the overworld, my portal, which is like 400 blocks in that direction, and uh, get some supplies and stuff, and hopefully um, make this area a little easier to work with. And that might involve loading and unloading the chunks quite a few times, but we will see. Um... This is there just so I don't get lost. Anyway, um, I'll get back to you in a little bit. And... Oh, come on. There we go. Gas tier 2. Man, that was a good one. Are you looking at me? Looking at me? I don't like the way you're looking at me. I don't like it. Yeah, that's right. Look away. Look away. Look away. <laughs> oh, boy. Hopefully there's no pigmen up here. We're good. We're good, we're good. <laughs> oh boy. So, here I am in the desert, just about uh, to mine up some sand so I can smelt some glass and stuff. And I found this little anomaly. You know, it's not super special, but you don't see floating sand every day. Or water that's not flowing. You know. Um. Anyway, this is a little ways off. There's a nice uh, chunk of desert um, between me and this area. And so this is um, from like this hill. You can kind of see it's forming like a little land barrier. This is going to be my sand mining spot uh, that I'm going to use for like everything. And I, it's relatively south west of my spot um of my little home and so i'm gonna mine out a big chunk of stuff right now so i can get a good amount of sand tote it all back um maybe even come back for some more sand um just so i have more for the future even though i won't need all that much glass for this farm um but, yeah, thought I'd let you know. 
So, I, uh, there has been a change of plans. I have been starting to get together the stuff for the blaze farm. I'm thinking of using red glass to, like, kind of see into the spawning area and stuff, so it'll be kind of cool looking. Um, maybe even use some of the red nether brick? I don't know how I'll like it. I'll, I'll have to see how it works with the entire build, but... Um, in order to do that, I want to use, um, sticky pistons so that the blocks will, um, the, the setup is that we have, um, piston right here. Well, the setup is actually that we have a piston back here and a pl pressure plate right here so that when the blazes fall onto the pad right here, the redstone will come back and power this uh, thing right there, pushing them down another layer, which will bring them down to the next layer so they can't get back up, unless they're mad and angry and flying all over the place. So, uh, in order to do that, I need sticky pistons, which I don't have right now. So, um, I am going to uh, go and make a slime farm instead for the rest of the episode, and I will um, find an area for that, a couple of chunks in a row, slime chunks in a row, where I can just make a little, uh, make a blaze farm, and so we will start that and um, be back shortly. So I think this is occasion enough to do a third person time lapse, which is something I've never done before, third person time lapse. I hadn't even done a time lapse before the sugarcane farm episode, but third person time lapse, I'm going to try and do it and have uh, of of me hollowing out the entire area. So, I will start that here right now.
So, we are here in the newly cleared out three chunk slime farm with our, what we are going to be doing behind us. This is a design by Ikazumavoid, and I highly recommend his channel, you should definitely go check it out. Um, essentially it's a, the, there, you put an iron golem at the top there, and all the slimes come uh, rub up against the cactus and die because of that, and then we will have um, hoppers all along the outside right here to pick up all the slime balls. So it's super simple, super cheap, um, pretty efficient too, uh, and so that will be our slime farm. But the only problem with that is that I don't have any pumpkins, so I can't make an iron golem. So, I am going to go try and find some pumpkins, and come back when I do. So, okay, so, um, we are back. I have pumpkins now. I have a temporary farm set up, just, uh, just up there. Um, and so now we are ready to put the finishing touch on the farm here. And I'm low on iron again, so we're gonna... I don't know if that's okay. If I'm allowed to have stuff in his... I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna need to change this. Just real quick. Okay. Oh boy. Um... Hmm... Okay. Solutions. <laughs> How many people does it take to put in an iron golem? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, now... Now, just mine out a few more blocks and put this on top. And ta da! Iron Golem. Now, our farm is fully functional and should be just great. Just gonna take out this little staircase right here. And we will be all done, except for tidying up, of course, which will come probably much later, because right now I'm just after the function of this, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so now this is all set up, and I'll have to put that roof back in, but um, things are looking very nice, and I am going to, I'm running out of time to record, so I am going to call the episode here today. And we will go to our statistics spotlight. For our achievement spotlight today, we have something a little more special. Uh, because I made the slime farm, we are going to calculate how many blocks are in the area that I mined out. So, uh, chunk is a 16 by 16, um, by 16, uh, 16 by 16 area. Um, that should ah okay here we go 16 by 16 okay that's 256 blocks the height of the area that we mined out was seven blocks so that is seven times 256 now that's for one chunk so three chunks would just be three times that, uh, which gives us 5,376 blocks mined in the area that we cleared out. So, I um, hope you enjoyed the episode today. Uh, as always, the CSV of all of my statistics for this episode uh, will be available in the description below, and I hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.